Hello. I'm Sally, your host. Welcome to the third board, my master's chess channel. In this video, I will show you the conclusion of the game played between Mikhail Tal and Lev Polyugayevsky, in 1959. Please forgive my poor pronunciation of Russian names. They are really difficult for me. If you have not watched part 1, I strongly recommend you watch it first. Just click the link above. So, let's continue the game. As we watched in the last video, in this position, Lev Polyugayevsky had black and played. Bishop takes on a4. And now, he threatens to take the c4 bishop with the queen. According to Stockfish, if white plays e5 in this position it would be a mistake, because of the following continuation. d takes on e5. Bishop to b3. Bishop takes on b3. Knight takes on b3. Castles. And after black is allowed to castle, he would be better in the game. If instead, white plays, bishop to a2, retreating the bishop. This would be better, but after. h6. Bishop to h4. Castles. Rook to c1. a5. c3. Rook from f to c8. f3. Pawn takes on b4. A pawn takes on b4. Bishop to d7. The game would be equal. Did you find the best move for white? In this position Mikhail Tal played. Bishop takes on e6. Sacrificing the bishop. And that is also the best move, according to the engine. But do not get too excited. This sacrifice does not lead to an immediate checkmate, nor to big material gain. The game is far from being decided. Tall did this move considering positional merits. He will lose a bishop, but will gain two pawns, and many attacking opportunities. Left Polyugayevsky plays. Pawn takes bishop. There is no better move here. The game continues with. Knight takes on e6. Attacking the queen, the g7 pawn, and preventing black's king from castling. Queen takes on c2. Queen to d4. Instead of queen to d4. Stockfish recommends knight to g7 check for white. In this case, if both sides play correctly, the following continuation would be possible. King to f7. Queen to d4. Sacrificing the knight. King takes on g7. Rook to c1. Queen to b3. e5. D takes on e5. Rook takes on e5. Queen to f7. Bishop to h6 check. Sacrificing the bishop temporarily. King takes on h6. Queen to e3. Check, and doubles the pressure on the e7 bishop. King to g7. If the king goes to g6, it would be mate with queen to g5. Rook takes on e7. The purpose of the combination. The black queen is pinned now. Rook from h to c8. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. Rook takes queen. King takes rook. f3. But, 
according to the wise fish, the position would be equal. Let's return to the game. After queen to d4, Polyugayevsky continues with king to f7. Black cannot castle because the annoying knight, so Polyugayevsky tries to protect his king by moving him to the king's side. He also protects the g7 square from the knight. Rook to c1. Queen to a2. e5. Attacking the knight. D takes on e5. The best move here. Of course, taking the knight with the king would be a blunder. White would play, e takes knight check, and win. White plays. Queen takes on e5. Here, Polyugayevsky, in order to alleviate the pressure on his position, will try to simplify the game by trading queens. There are two moves here that will trade queens. Can you see them? If you wish, pause the video and try to find the move which will better simplify the game. For Stockfish, the best move here is, Queen to d5. Followed by, Bishop takes on f6. Queen takes on e5. Bishop takes on e5. King takes on e6. Bishop takes on g7 check. King to d7. Avoiding the rook invasion on the 7th rank. Bishop takes on h8. Rook takes on h8. And the engine evaluates the position as slightly better for black. The other move is, queen takes on f2 check. Which was played in the game. It wins a pawn, but according to the wise fish, it is an inferior move. The game continues with King takes on f2 Knight to g4 check King to g1 Knight takes on e5 Rook takes on e5 Bishop takes on g5 Polyugayevsky did the best move here. If black played rook to c8, he would lose the game, because of Rook to f1 check Bishop to f6 Knight takes on g7 And white would win Let's return to the game After bishop takes on g5, tall continues with Knight takes on g5 check King to g6 The best move here If black played king to f6, a possible variation would be Rook from c to c5 Rook from h to e8 Knight to e4 check King to g6 Rook to g5 check King to h6 Rook to h5 check King to g6 forced rook from c to g5 check king to f7 forced and knight to d6 check and black would lose the exchange back to the game after king to g6 tall continues with knight to e6 here it was better for white to play rook to c7 Black plays Rook from h to e8 It appears the dust has settled, and Polyugayevsky survived Tal's attack. Tal's position is better, and his main advantage is the fragile position of the Black King. But his superiority is not decisive, and with skill, and some luck, Polyugayevsky could bring the game to a draw. White plays Rook to e3 Preparing to move the rook to g3, checking the king, and later capture the g7 pawn. Rook from a, to c8. 
Rook to f1. Bishop to b5. Threatening the rook. But, according to Stockfish, Bishop to d7 was better. White plays. Rook to g3 check. King to h6. Knight takes on g7. Threatening the rook. Rook to f8. Rook to e1. Rook to f6. h3. Avoiding threats in the back rank. Black plays. Rook to c2. But here, after all his efforts, Polyugayevsky committed a blunder. After rook to c2, the game is lost for black. And Tall will not lose the opportunity. Chess can be a brutal game sometimes. The game continues with Rook to e4 Threatening mate on h4 But the real threat will reveal itself later. Rook to c4 Avoiding the mate Rook to e5 Threatening mate on h5 now. Rook to c1 check. King to h2. In this position, black could play rook to g6, avoiding the mate. But after, knight to f5 check. King to h5, forced. Knight to e7 check. King to h6. Knight takes rook. White's advantage would be overwhelming. And because he calculated all that, and did not like what he saw. In this position. Left Polyugayevsky. Resigned. Did you like this game? It was an interesting game, don't you agree? I love sharp games. If you want notifications of more content like this, please subscribe to this channel. My master and I wish good luck in your chess. Thank you, and see you again. Goodbye.